from one day to the other, it's like you wear your short and you need two jackets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but on the plus side, this is actually when the tourist season is starting to quieten down a bit. So it doesn't feel like you're sharing sort of the attractions around New Zealand with like loads of different people. You often get that feeling of having the whole country to yourself. So that makes it a really awesome time to travel around New Zealand. Yeah. So shall we get on to the All temperatures? Right. Around? So we give you, uh, during this video, we'll give you a, a couple of, uh, of pointers of what would be the weather like. But because New Zealand has such a changeable weather, it's easier to go through different regions. So first I'm going to give you a bit of an idea of what kind of temperature you can expect around New Zealand in April and in different regions. And then we're going to talk about the rainfall. Then we finish with a couple of packing tips and then that'll be over and we move on to the next question. All right, cool. So uh, for the North Island, on the northern New Zealand, which is uh, Northland, Auckland and Poranga, the average temperature will be 15 degrees Celsius, which is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, on central North Island, which is Hamilton, Taupo and Rotorua, that will be about 13 degrees Celsius and 55 Fahrenheit. For the southwest North Island, which is New Plymouth, Palmerston North and Wellington, that will be 14 degrees Fahrenheit, oh, sorry, 14 degrees Celsius and 57 Fahrenheit. Um, for the eastern North Island, which is Gisborne, Napier and Weirarapa, um, that will be 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit. Northern South Island, we're moving on there. Um, that would be Blenheim and Nelson, and that is 14 degrees Celsius, 57 Fahrenheit. Western South Island, which is Westport, Hokitika, Milford Sound, that's 11 to 13 degrees Celsius, and that's 52 to 55 Fahrenheit. Eastern South Island, in April, the weather in Kaikura, Christchurch, and Timaru is usually about 13 degrees Celsius, 55 Fahrenheit. Inland South Island, so we're talking about Queenstown, the adventure capital of New Zealand, but also Lake Tekapo and Alexandra, that's 9 to 12 degrees Celsius. So that would be the coldest in the country, and that is 48 to 54 Fahrenheit. And then the bottom of the South Island would be 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit. So that should give you a good idea of the temperature that we have here. And again, if you do think that I speak too fast or too slow or anything like that, you can always go on backpackerguide.nz. This is literally where I'll find that. So it's backpackerguide.nz. And then in the search bar, you just type weather and April. Or just type in April. Yeah, or just type in it. April, yeah. yeah. Um, and we have a full article with all the weather, the temperature, the rain, the rain season, sorry. Um, and all the advice of what to visit in April as well as uh, what to pack. So just in case you guys don't like my accent or if I speak too fast. All right, let's talk about the rainfall. So now, do you need a rain jacket in April in New Zealand, Laura? Absolutely. You all need right. a rain jacket any time of the year in New Zealand. But yep, yeah, that is true. All right, cool. So Northern New Zealand, that's Northland, Auckland and Tauranga. It's about 130 millimeters. I am sorry uh, for any American, uh, Charlie, I'm sorry we don't have the inches, but um, you can do the conversion. Uh, 130 millimeters. Uh, Central North Island, Hamilton, Topo and Rotorua, that's 70 millimeters. Uh, New Plymouth, Palmerston North and Wellington, that's the Southwest North Island, and that's 100 millimeters. And then we're having uh, Gisborne, Napier, Wawarapa, the Eastern North Island, that's 70 millimeters of rain in April. Northern South Island, 60 millimeters uh, of rain in April. Western South Island, Westport, Hokitika, Milford Sound, that's a big difference. That's between 250 and 600 millimeters of rain in April. The wild west coast always have a lot of rain, so don't be too afraid. There is always a big number for the west coast. Um, and then we move on to the Eastern South Island, which is Kaikura, Christchurch, and Timari, which is only 50 millimeters of rain. So from here to here, it's between 1 to 5 to 1 to 10 of a ratio. That's quite yeah. crazy. Um, South Island, Inland South Island, so that's Queenstown, that's about 50 millimeters. And the bottom of the South Island will be at 60 millimeters of rain. Now, April, April is known to have a really changeable weather, but it still makes it for an amazing time traveling in New Zealand because, as Laura said, there is much less people traveling around the country. So you basically get all New Zealand to yourself, which is really awesome. Some of the really cool places to visit are Wanaka, if you want to point out where Wanaka is. Okay, right um, here. Wanaka is a really cool place to visit. Gisborne is also a really cool place that we advise to visit in, uh, in April, in April yeah. as well. Um, actually, the whole Marlboro as well, because, uh, well, this is the it's wine region. It's usually the sunniest. Yeah, it's the sunniest yeah. as well, but it's also the wine region. So if it is raining too much during your time there, 
then uh, go crazy and uh, just go into a winery and get uh, hammered, basically. <laughs> uh, Milford Sound is really awesome to visit in April as well because if you're lucky and it rains a lot, because yes, it is a good thing if it rains in Milford Sound, you can see thousands of yeah. waterfalls. But I don't even think eyes. that's the rainiest season no, for Milford yeah. Sound. Actually, summer is the rainiest season oh, really? for Milford Sound. So you're probably better to head there if you want less of a if you like less chances for a rainy day, maybe head to Milford Sound in autumn yeah. toward winter. All right, now a couple of things to pack. Uh, if you're visiting New Zealand in April, you're going to want to pack uh, a rain jacket, that's for sure. Uh, also, we strongly advise you to have some thermal layers, so some merino wool kind of leggings and, uh, and maybe, um, you know, top uh, thermal layers, because that will help you keep you warm, uh, even if it's raining a lot. It's all about like packing some layers, basically. Yeah. And if you travel with a backpack and are going to be making your way into hiking with a big backpack, make sure to have a rain cover for that as well. Yeah, absolutely. You want to add? Um, probably uh, for your hiking shoes, make sure they are waterproof as well. Or not, not just waterproof, but has that sort of, uh, you know, waterproof membrane technology, which has many different names like Gore-Tex or high tech, it depends what brand you get, but just make sure that your hiking shoes are really, really well waterproofed um, because you don't want to <laughs> hike with wet feet pretty much. Um, but yeah, in terms of sunscreen, you probably don't need to worry about that too much in April now. You don't need to worry too much about insect repellent because the sunflies have calmed down since summer. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all the essentials covered. Yeah, I agree. All right, so if you guys want to know more about the New Zealand weather in April, check out the description below. There is plenty of links for you. And if you do have any questions of your own, put them in the comment below, put them in the live chat if you're watching now. Click like if you found us useful. We are here to help.